Dr. Shabir, welcome to Let the Quran Speak. Pleasure to be on. We are continuing our series, Dr. Shabir, on inspiring verses of, of the Quran. And this time we are looking at chapter 29 of verse 58. It says, those who believe and lead a righteous life, we will surely settle them in paradise with mansions and flowing streams. Eternally, they will abide therein. How excellent a reward it is for those who acted in obedience to God. Yes, uh, yes. It, it's a very inspiring verse, Sophia, because it, it promises paradise in the end. And, you know, we go through so many difficulties in life, so many troubles. Uh, and uh, we might ask ourselves, you know, what's the end of all of this? You know, if we didn't believe in God and we just go by, let's say, a scientific uh, point of view, then what's there for us in, in the scientific world? One is the idea that no matter what we do, uh, everything is somehow linked to some prior cause, uh, either something that was uh, causing by necessity for us to act in a certain way, or maybe there's something random uh, that, that happened that is still part, part of the causal stream leading up to everything we're doing now. So basically, we're not even in control of what we're, what we're doing. We're just acting robotically, thinking that we have free will and, and we're governing ourselves according to our own choosing. And we don't know where this apparent free will will lead up, whether to our ultimate good or to our ultimate destruction, even in this life. And if we take the universe as a whole, uh, that too is said to be the product of some such blind causal forces that we don't understand and we're still trying to figure out. And there too, we don't know uh, whether this is going to lead to, to anywhere. And uh, if we take Einstein's uh, theory of, um, of relativity, uh, that seems to uh, posit that our, our futures are already laid out there for us. We just haven't experienced it yet. And we have the illusion in being in a present moment that we call now, but all moments from the past and from the future are already ex existent and still existent. Mm -hmm. So the past is still existent and the future is already out there. We just haven't experienced it yet. But, but we're, you know, an, an independent observer uh, at a distance could actually see our futures, mm -hmm. which means we're already there and we're thinking that we're shaping our futures, but we don't really know where, where we're going. But, but where we're going is definitely already there and we cannot do anything to change it. Mm -hmm. So from, from the scientific uh, perspective, life looks very bleak. People can try to make meaning out of it and try to make sense of it and try to uh, live happily. Find for the happy moments. Yeah, for yeah. the moment. But really, ultimately, we don't know where this is all ending up. But the promise in the Quran here is that those who believe and do good deeds, uh, God will... Uh, cause them to dwell in um, mansions, in, in Jannah, in paradise. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, ni'mad amilin. what a beautiful reward for uh, those who have done some work. So mm -hmm. we're doing work here in this world. People are working, they're saving up, they want to have a good retirement plan, they want to enjoy the good gifts of this life. But we don't know how long that is going to last or whether we will last to enjoy all of those things. Mm -hmm. But the promise of God is secure. This is their promise to believers. And uh, uh, it, it is something that definitely we need to not only work for, but also to put our trust in. And it gives us great hope so that, you know, if we're facing difficulties, if we're going through struggles and, and, and problems, then we know that in the end, uh, something good is awaiting us, especially if we devote ourselves to believing in God, doing the righteous deeds, and, and so on, and avoiding sins, then we have it all secure in the life hereafter. Thank you for sharing that, actually. You're welcome. The most effective and far-reaching da'wah we can do these days is on social media. That's why we're developing the Muslim Media Hub. We're harnessing the power of media to spread the message of Islam. Please support this project at QuranSpeaks.com and share in the reward from God.